Hi guys, Kelly Morrow here from HootingLockets.com. Today I want to do a tutorial on how to build a virtual locket using PicMonkey. Uh, last week or the week before I did a tutorial on using Microsoft Word, which honestly is my preference to use. I feel like the um, colors in Microsoft Word are a little bit sharper and you have the ability to do a little bit more with it. But there are some designers who have brought to my attention that not everyone has Microsoft Word or a version that they can use to build their virtual lockets. So this is another option for you to use to build your virtual lockets. We are going to start by making sure you are on the PicMonkey website. This is a free service. Um, where you can edit photos, create social media images, anything like that for your origami owl business. Uh, the website is www.pickmonkey.com. And one other difference between this and the Microsoft Word version, um, on Microsoft Word, when you come over to choose your charms or choose your lockets, all you have to do is copy and then paste it into your uh, Word document. For PicMonkey, that is not the case. You do have to select everything that you want in your locket and save it to your computer. Uh, so you would start by choosing your locket, your chain, your charms, your plates, your dangles, however your customer wants this locket to look or however you want the locket to look for a flyer or a promotion. And you want to click on the item and then right click save the image as, and then save it to your computer. Um, these are all of the images that I'm going to use for the this particular locket. So I'm going to get back out of here. Just make sure that you have all of these things saved to your computer before you get started. And I'm gonna go back over to PicMonkey, and I am going to edit a photo. Now I have a photo that I use for PicMonkey all the time. It is a white just a simple white background you see this right here that gives me a much larger canvas to work on than um, just using the actual image itself so when I come to do the locket um, I do the white background and then I do the um, overlays starting with the locket so here we have our white background we're gonna go over here to this butterfly tab and click there and you will see up at the top where it says overlays and you will see where it says your own. You're going to click there and it's going to bring up to where you can navigate to find where you saved these images to your computer. I'm going to start with the large silver locket, double click or you can click open and here we have our first piece of our virtual locket on your PicMonkey screen. And then you want to add your next piece. You can adjust the size of your locket however you want. You can make it smaller or larger, however you want it to look. Next, I want to add the chain. So you either double click or click on it to highlight it and click open. And you will see now you have your chain in here. And you want to make it larger. You can see right now that we have this box around the chain and we want to get rid of that. So you're going to go over here to this overlay box and click on the drop down box that says blend modes and scroll down until you see darken and highlight that and it will kind of fade the locket and the chain into each other. So you're just going to reposition this here so it looks like the locket is hanging from the chain. And now we are going to add a plate. I'm going to start with a large rose gold blessed plate. Again, you see the box around the plate. You're going to come over to the overlay box and click on the blend mode drop down box and go down to darken. And you are going to make it larger and pull it into the middle of the locket. Now, as you can see, this is behind a lot of these things. Um, it kind of blends them into each other, um, which is okay. It works for the purpose. If you don't have Microsoft Word, it will work for this purpose. 
um, but Microsoft Word kind of I prefer it because it doesn't really need the colors as much um, so you would still see a very bright rose gold color when it comes to the plate uh, I did want to show you if you wanted to add a stack of plate on top of it um, what it would do I'm going to go ahead and darken and you can see how they kind of blend into each other so the it, it's not very um, it's not really a big pop of color you can see that it's there um, but I don't prefer to do it this way so I'm going to take the family out you can just click right here on delete and we'll take that out and we will add our charms I'm going to do since this is a blessed I'm going to do a blessed mom plate so I'm going to add this charm here we're going to blend and darken and we're going to put that charm, let's just put it right in the middle right here. And back over here to the overlay button, we're going to click on your own. Uh, this is going, this is the April boy. I have a five-year-old boy that was born in April, so I just chose his charm, darken, make it a little bit bigger, and we're going to put him right there. As you can see, it does mute the colors of the charms a little bit. They look a little bit better if you don't have the plate in there, but if your customer wants to see the plate, then this is this is what you're going to do. And then we're going to add the girl in there. I have a 16-month-old daughter that was born in May. So this is the May girl, Darken, and there we have it. So now we have our virtual locket on here. You can either just save it as it is here you click on save and come over here you will change the name to virtual locket for uh, giveaway or your customer's name or however you want it to be and you're going to click on my com save to my computer uh, you can also come over here and enter in your personal information um, go down and choose Let's do something kind of pretty. Let's do this script. And add the text. This is, of course, under the text button. You choose the script. You click Add Text. And then you click in the text box. And you will write your name or whatever information you want on here. And then you can adjust the size just by simply doing this and stretching the text box. That way it has your markings on it. Let's put it right here. And you can also fade the color out so where it kind of looks like a watermark right here. There we go. That looks great. Um, and then you can go back and you just click save. Change the name and save it to your computer. And then you will have your virtual locket ready and saved as a picture file in your computer so you can either put it on a flyer put it in a uh, social media photo or send it to a customer uh, again my name is Kelly Morrow I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to email me or shoot me a text